This is Ed Salzberg and in this short video I'm going to introduce the Business Acquisition Tracker in Excel uh, which is a just a short easy way to implement the training that I do win more work and spend less money doing it an online training program I'm packaging the training along with the bat in Excel for a price of $97 a big markdown from what the training itself costs because I'm coming out with version 2 of the training version 1's been on the market for about two years now and it's time for a refresh but all of the business analytics that I talk about in the training and teach in the training for managing a pipeline so that companies can be really at the head of their market and and be as competitive as the best firms um, in the business really depend on a systematic approach to business development and the business acquisition tracker in Excel will help you do that. The real advantage of the BAT and the whole program that I train on is the analytical basis for segmenting the pipeline so that it can be managed. So here is the, the dashboard in which the uh, backlog gauge measures the health of the of the business pipeline, the opportunity pipeline, in terms of the early leads and the later leads. And as you can see, as far as this organization is concerned, its firm contract backlog, really what it has in the bank, and its near-term prospects from proposals uh, into their l later stages of, the, um, of their pipeline are really pretty solid. Uh, it's not doing too well in identifying leads, and that could be because of one, one or two reasons. One is it doesn't have a very good way to identify leads or two, the market is not very vital and its business approach to identifying opportunities is very good but there's nothing out there for them at that point that this backlog chart is telling them they've got to either diversify their services or look for new markets. Um, the information on the backlog gauge is also summarized on in this table right over here so you can see that its firm contract backlog is 95 percent of a benchmark um, and these are benchmarks that I use that are industry standards and I also work with companies to refine them for their organization. A key aspect of managing a pipeline is pipeline velocity and I track tra pipeline velocity in the big capture status section. Here these opportunities are numbers of different records in the in the database, opportunities in the database and these are the these are the opportunities that are lagging against a benchmark um, and need to be dealt with with management so that they don't continue to lag and the RFP comes out and the company is not really ready to go after the uh, after that opportunity. Um, this is all backed up with the data that, that that's in the records and let me just run through a couple of these sheets. Uh, for those of you that have come to my training or taken, taken a look at some of my some of the programs um, you can you, you'll recognize some of the terms on here contract capture tracker. These are all stage 4 and stage 5 bids here. Down in this section we have earlier bids, stages 3, stages 2, and stages 1. And in the spreadsheet you need to cut and paste to move them up into the next level of maturity. In my server-based version of the, of the whole data management system, which is really quite a program, uh, this is done automatically at a push of a push of a button. Um, so the point here is that you want to make sure that you get your your leads, your prospects from stage one up to at least stage three as fast as possible. Stage one are opportunities that you really don't know much about. You just know that you're qualified and you don't know whether another organization really is in line to win. And there's lots of reasons why an organization may have a lock on an opportunity. It could be that they have a special data management system or special access to the to the input or maybe it's a report to Congress that they have a way of networking to get the right information. Um, but you would move it that opportunity to stage two if you can prove that there is a level playing field. And once you have a stage two opportunity, the next goal is to move it to stage three in which you know that you're on that playing field. So it could be that this is a real horse race you just don't know if you're one of the horses and that really means whether the client thinks that you're credible to run that piece of work for them and then finally stage four is when you've tilted the playing field in your direction an organization that only bids from stage three and stage four 
where they know they're competitive or advantaged and never bids from stage one and stage two where they don't know whether the client is really seriously going to consider them has to exhibit explosive growth. It, it, you can't not grow if you only bid from stages three and stages four. So that's the theory behind the pipeline management system and this little tracking system will help you keep your your program moving forward. It's a single organization system. Um, it doesn't divide it doesn't divide the um, opportunities into divisions or companies or subgroups. The data management system, the, the actual bat, the actual data management system does that. But if you're a small company and you're looking for an, a nice little tool that will that will enable you to control and manage your bids um, and move them through a process. Um, this is a great little tool and if you get the training um, along with it um, you'll really be be really poised to move your company uh, towards its financial goals. Um, if you go to my if you go to the website ERS Advisors forward slash business acquisition course um, you can see that I've discounted the $495 course down to $99 and you can uh, buy the course and the bat in Excel comes as a free gift this is a $60 item that you get for free uh, by, by buying version 1 and version 2 will be different only in that it's refreshed and updated uh, some of the analytics are a little bit different but not so dramatically different that version 1 isn't still relevant Here's my information if you'd like to get in touch with me directly um, at ERS Advisors, e Salzburg at ERS Advisors, or feel free to give me a ring if you have any questions about the tracker, the business, the training, or anything else about ERS Advisors and the services that we provide to government contractors to help improve your company's competitiveness.